Holy crap, look at this base. This thing is all armored even on the way outside walls. Oh my gosh, also look at this thing. There's gotta be 25 turrets. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and attempt this raid. I'm gonna be doing this in phases. Phase one being a build a raid base. We'll take out the turrets and make sure we can get in there. Phase two, I'll come back with C4 and we'll drill straight down. I'm gonna attack this thing from the water side. I think that's where the least amount of turrets would be and it'll be hard for people to see me raiding it. Okay, this is about as good as it's gonna get. So the key here is to take these turrets out and not have them shoot at me because I don't want this dude to know he's getting raided if he is on. Just to count how many we're going to have to kill. Looks like one, two, three, probably four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About eleven, ten or eleven turrets. After these are done though, we should have a straight shot into this door to drill down. Here we go. One down. Ten to go. Okay, these are dropping like flies. Okay, I think we should be all good as long as there isn't one right here on this gate that I'm not seeing. Okay, we're looking good. I'm gonna come back here for phase two. We'll bring C4. Ladder into this thing and try to drill. It's four stories, so if he does have half floors in there, it's gonna be really tough. If there's no half floors, it'll be totally doable though. Okay, this is everything. This is for all the chips. 35 C4, I should be able to do five or so armored ceilings or whatever. Hopefully it'll be enough. Hopefully there's a cheaper path than blowing straight through armored though. Not getting shot yet. Looking pretty good. I think we're well out of range of those turrets. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, there's a single turret I'll have to take out. All right, that one's dead. We should be in the clear. Nope, that one's gonna shoot me now. If I get over this real fast, we should be okay. All right, let's go. I'll break straight into the sheet metal. All right, door's down. Oh my god, there's a turret right there. Yeah, so we're gonna have to take out one more. I'll Shoot.
Okay, that turret's dead. I should be all in the clear. That one shouldn't bother me. But the thing is, I have no ammo. I have eight shots left. So we're going to have to do this all with C4. But we're, we're basically in. All right, we're in. We're safe. Yeah, but the thing is, so I'm gonna have to use C4 even on a sheet door. At least it is sheet though, and it's not armored. 34 C4 left. Hopefully it's enough. Okay, it's fairly open in here. Hatches. This goes all the way down, but there's turrets down there I can see. Keep following the sheet door. Oh no, it's half floors. Okay. Armored door. At least the ceilings are sheet metal right here. Your turrets inside right here I think what I'll do here is just start going down on a square and just hope that I can get into a loot room I know there's gonna be half floors but if it's sheet metal it's not gonna be so bad armored there Whoa, I almost got screwed over by lag. Okay, let's go. We just got down pretty far. There's so many turrets in this base, I hear them all over. Wow, this takes us all the way down. This is almost foundation. Still not foundation, but this is second floor. This will be foundation right below here. Maybe this could be a loot room if I get really lucky. Okay, that should be foundation. Yeah. We'll start going in, but this, it's like half floors. Okay, this isn't good. We're in honeycomb. I'm gonna pop this sheet off right here with the rest of my stuff. I'll have to go mine up more stuff, I guess. 
but maybe if someone doesn't steal this, I can come back and finish it. I'm pretty deep in here, as long as they don't get online and repair it as well. Okay, so we're almost there, I think. We'll have to do some mining. I should be pretty close, though. Maybe two or three more armored walls. I'll go do some mining up. See if I can get enough to finish this. Alright, here's where we left off. Okay, sheet metal foundation here. Wish it was a sheet metal half wall. But this looks like a full wall right here. So this could be a loot room. Yes, loot room. Oh my gosh, did I actually do the- Oh my gosh. Yo, I can't believe this. Like... That's epic. I was out of stuff completely. Oh my god! 240 rockets! 240 rockets in here! Holy crap, I think I just blew into the main loot room. I'm gonna go stash. Uh, I want to go stash some of this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go take some of this stuff home. We'll come back and silent raid it with all this ammo here for me, but I cannot believe I just did this. That's crazy. Okay, so I'll go stash all the C4 and rockets, and we'll come back here with silencers, silent raid the rest of this thing. Let's go. Oh my god, TC, no way! Can you guys imagine how much sulfur is about to be in here? And how did I get so lucky to get right into the TC? Look at this. Alright, here we go. 65k sulfur, but 150k GP or so. Holy crap. 6k HQM. Let's go, man. Let's get this out of here and leave. These guys are not going to believe how they just got raided. 65 plus 65, 130. About 150,000 gunpowder. Plus a, almost 100k sulfur. And this base is mine now. I got TC. Alright guys, I didn't think it was going to go that well. I mean, I did have to go take another trip to mine sulfur and stuff, but hey, I'm never going to be farming again this wipe, that's for sure. If only you could carry stuff over to the next wipe. Wow. What a raid.